What's going on? Welcome to today's video. My name is Colton and today I'll be demonstrating one way that you can replace a toilet flapper. Have you ever been sitting around your house and you hear your toilet start to run or the tank start to refill a little bit? But you know there wasn't a flush and you know your house isn't haunted, or at least you hope not. And so you take off the tank lid and you look a little bit and you start to see the water level drop and then that's what triggers the toilet to refill. And then it refills but then you sit there and watch and the water starts to drop again. You may have a bad gasket or a seal around your flapper and it may need to be replaced. Keep watching and I'll show you how. All the tools and products that I use for this project will be down below in the description, so go check those out. And the time that it took me to complete this project was probably about 15 to 20 minutes. So let's get started. First, check to make sure that you're not leaking water actually anywhere. Under the tank, any valves, on the floor, if it's all dry, but you still hear your toilet refill once in a while. Could be your flapper leaking water, so let's fix it. Go to your toilet and take everything off of the tank, including the lid. Now here are the simple mechanics of a toilet. You push this down, it lifts up this flapper, all the water in the tank goes down, pushes all of the things in the toilet down into the sewage line, water refills from this hose, into this tube, out the bottom, refills the tank, all based off of this little bobber. So if I push this bobber down, it knows to refill the tank up to the level where the bobber then stops the valve. Now where the problem lies is as the water fills up to the appropriate level, this valve over here continues to let water in because the water is still falling through the flapper into your toilet. So it's just this trickle. So water's coming down a little bit, the little bobber drops a little bit, fills back up, waits for five, 10 minutes, then does it again. So you're wasting water. And having this happen all day can two, three X your water consumption and in turn you pay more. So a potential solve for this is replace the flapper. So I wanted to test this theory out. I grabbed a little stick and I want to push on the flapper to see if I hear any more trickle. So the reason why I use a stick is it's small, it doesn't displace water too much, so when I put my hand in there the water levels will rise, but the stick does very little. So test it out, I put the dowel on there, push down, the water stops. I let off, I hear some trickle a little bit more, so I test it out again. Put the dowel on there, push down, just a little bit, the water stops. So that tells me the gasket around the flapper is faulty, or it just has gone bad. So I grab this Fluid Master 3 inch flapper, close the water supply, this is a pull, yours could be a twist. Now flush the toilet and remove all of the water from the tank. Hold the lever down, make sure as much water as possible from the tank leaves, and once it stops, you can let go. Now reach in and remove the flapper. You do this by carefully unsnapping the flapper, they're like C-clamps, that are attached to the tube. And detach the chain from the lever. Here's what it looks like on the side, so you know how easy it is to detach. Grab the Fluid Master flapper, and this one's kind of cool because you can adjust this lower number, higher number, to use more or less water. Put the flapper down, snap those hooks onto those arms. Don't break these arms off because you don't want to make matters worse and work more than you need to. Make sure it moves appropriately and attach the chain. You might also need to adjust the chain position so it actually lifts the flapper. And this is just a guessing game. I moved it like an inch. Once you have adjusted that, put that back onto the lever and test out the movement to make sure it works. Go back down to your water supply, open the valve all the way, and go back to the tank to make sure that you're watching the water fill up appropriately at a steady pace, that there's no leaks, it's not dropping back into the toilet, and everything looks good. Once the tank is completely filled back up again at the appropriate water level, sit and wait. Try to listen to any water leaking, anything that you try to see or hear, that could indicate that the water is still leaking through the flapper into your toilet. Because if so, you may have a bigger problem. Once the tank is completely filled, do a test flush. <laughs> and watch to make sure that the flapper closes appropriately and everything looks fine. And again, the tank starts to refill and once it is filled, you don't hear any more leaking or trickle or the tank refilling itself back up randomly throughout the day. Once you're satisfied, put the tank lid back on, anything else that went on the toilet beforehand, and now you're done. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you liked what you just watched, hit that subscribe button right here. Or if you don't wanna commit all the way and subscribe, then maybe just give it a like uh, and maybe share with your friends or family. But also if you wanna check out other videos that I've completed in the past, click this link right here. Thanks again.